Hi, my name is Dave Schroeder and I work for the Wildfire Operations Research Group of FP Innovations. We are working with some of our partners including Alberta Sustainable Resource Development and the Government of the Northwest Territories to test the effectiveness of FireSmart treatments. FireSmart is a proactive approach towards reducing the risk of wildfire damage to your homes and communities. FireSmart planning focuses in three major zones for the homeowner. Priority Zone 1, the area directly around the home to a distance of 10 meters. Priority Zone 2, extends an additional 20 meters beyond that. And Priority Zone 3, extends 70 meters past these zones. In each of these zones, you can take specific actions to reduce the risk of wildfire damaging your home and property. In the next few minutes, we'll demonstrate to you how you can take a few simple steps to reduce the threat of wildfire to your home. Specifically, we'll focus on the use of sprinklers and the removal of vegetation in zones one and two. Here we have placed a small cabin in a pine stand at a research site in the Northwest Territories. The objectives were to use minimal water and a sprinkler setup that might be installed by a homeowner. We then overran the cabin with an intense fire moving through the crowns of the trees. As you can see, the fire was very intense and would have reached at least 900 Celsius during the fire passage. You might have noticed that the sprinklers were only pointed at the structure and stopped working when the hoses failed. Any setup you do should protect the supply lines and if you have sufficient water supplies, then allowing the sprinklers to cover a full circle will further increase their effectiveness. The structure did survive, but sustained considerable damage to the siding, windows and soffits. In this test, we'll compare doing treatments in Zone 1 only against a combination of Zones 1 and 2. The Zone 1 treatment, which extends 10 meters away from structures, consists of thinning the overstory conifer trees and raking needles, twigs and other flashy surface fuels. Zone 2 extends 20 meters beyond Zone 1 and consists of thinning to 3 meters spacing between the tree crowns and pruning of lower branches and removal of surface fuels. We place a structure 10 meters away from a natural stand which had only Zone 1 treatment and a second structure 30 meters away from a natural stand which had Zones 1 and 2 treatments. We then lit an intense crowning fire upwind of the structures and let it burn into the fire smart treatments without any suppression effort. You can see that the combination of zone 1 and 2 treatments was effective, but there are a few points to take home. The surface fire was suppressed by fire crews eventually, but if unattended, like during an evacuation, could have eventually burned up to the cabin. Wind speed on the day was moderate, averaging about 12 kilometers an hour. Higher winds would have resulted in a more vigorous surface fire and more candling of individual trees around the cabin. Flying embers did land on and around the 30 meter cabin. Any potential ignition sources such as the firewood pile as shown in the video would have damaged or destroyed the cabin. Homeowners often comment that they don't need to do fire smart because they have insurance. We can tell you that insurance agencies in the United States are gradually starting to change their policies and require some kind of fire smart treatments. It may only be a matter of time before those policies are in place in Canada. And besides, insurance will never replace photo albums and other family heirlooms. The videos you've seen demonstrate the potential for the use of sprinklers and vegetation management to protect your home. We have to emphasize that these techniques reduce the risk but never completely eliminate it. For information on other FireSmart techniques, such as the use of fire-resistant building materials, refer to the FireSmart manual. 